Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. This year, 23 seniors from St. Mary's Public Schools will graduate from Maryland's Seal of Biliteracy program. Four from Shopticon, seven from Leonardtown, and 12 from Great Mills. Wendy Tarr, St. Mary's Public School Supervisor of Instructions for World Languages said, Earning the seal of biliteracy is a prestigious achievement and signifies that a student has demonstrated competency in English and another language, providing them a competitive advantage as they continue their education. St. Mary's Riken High School gets a new principal. Kathy Bose, a 25-year Baltimore County School Administrator, returns to her hometown as the new school principal. She will be taking the position of Rick Wood. The newly selected leader expressed her joy upon being chosen for the position. I love my job and I love education, and I admit, I love St. Mary's. And I think in the back of my mind, I always wanted to go home. Metropolitan's commission budget includes a hike of roughly 3% in water services rates, along with about 4% of sewer ratepayers. Service charges are expected to contribute over $15 million to the two of utilities' $22.1 million operating budget this fiscal year. If you're here to vote on Tuesday, the St. Mary's County Commissioners approved a new 2020 fiscal plan which will include a modest income tax hike. John O'Connor, who voted against this budget, says that the Commissioners took the easy way out by proposing to increase property and income taxes. The property tax rate will increase from 3% to 3.17% starting January 1st. With a spot left in the Class 4A semifinals hanging by a thread, the stakes were high at Glen Burnie High School softball field as the Gophers hosted Leonardtown for the Class 4A East Region crowd. Stevie Friday afternoon, the teams were neck to neck, but the Gophers scored four runs in the next inning and there are over Raiders with a score of 72. This spring marked a historic season for the SMAC schools in their respective region tennis tournaments. For the first time, region tournaments were played within the school's classification of 1A through 4A rather than just geographic location. Two SMAC schools were able to capture region tennis tournament titles with McDonough claiming the 1A South region title and Huntingtown claiming the 3A South region title. Great Mills tied for second with Northern with a score of 15 in the 3A South tournament. SMAC is sending 14 entries to states this year across four different classifications.